Just when we think we got it. Bowen says, see you later, nerds. You don't got it. This is my party. He is in charge. We need to be in charge. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. The doors left the Lucky Pebble in the room. Lucky Pebble is the way, dude. You guys got a Lucky Pebble, dude? No, I'm about to. About to. Here it is. Got you a Lucky Pebble, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My God! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, that was that whole thing back for me. Slap that about Baja Blast on your hand last night. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a brutal. good one. That's brutal. Dang, dude, that's not on the run, though. That's your new lucky boulder. <laughs> You got, you got it's your lucky boulder, dude. It's so big. <laughs> this is a pebble, this is a boulder. <laughs> well, we're pulling into the old Jiffy Lube. Good deals on... Good deals on oil changes over here. Got a blazer. Gonna give it some 5W30. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. Getting us an oil change. Some peeking at it. Make sure you don't change my nitrous yet, tell me. Here at the Jiffy Lube. It's got a hood prop, boys. He says it's got the go-go juice. -go <laughs> Let's see what I think about this. It's a hot rod, ain't she? Hit the car wash to clean it up for you guys before bringing it here. A little, a little bit. So we're looking like we got a fresh 40-ish, 38-ish pounds of oil pressure idle just leaving the jiffy lube got us a full synthetic oil change for 58 dollars can't beat it six quarts and a filter and we didn't have to lay on the hot asphalt do it herself all right guys so you can see we're driving down a dirt road heading to bradley's house uh fellow racer gentlemen oh my lanta <laughs> <laughs> it is uh not the smoothest in the old blazer but he's a fellow racer local to carney has an ac shop with some uh, tools and parts and uh, some stuff, and we're gonna go. Me and George here are gonna go modify the exhaust. Come to find out that this blazer has the stock 4.3 exhaust on it, so I think it's robbing us of a little bit of power. All right, so as I'm over here cleaning up some pipe to make this side pipe, I got Georgie up here uh, pulling some spark plugs out. We're gonna put a better plug in it for nitrous, but uh, he found something. We we picked up a misfire after we sprayed it a couple times. Thank you. And. This. Uh, focus and i think we found it uh looks like our electrode tip and our strap are gone clean off this plug all right there we have it muffler delete to a nice little side pipe action a little tucked up underneath the truck okay okay i never seen you treat a car so nice besides the dent in the hood i mean man <laughs> Oh, dang. Woo, woo, woo. Ramer up. Oh, wow. Still not the cleanest, but. <laughs> Alright, you want to hit the car wash? Let's go. Clean some bugs off of this unit, dude. That's pretty bad. Oh. I counted them last night. There's 86,000. Bugs. Yeah, let's go clean that yeah. up. Yes. <laughs> no way! Oh, it was a random misfire we picked oh up. Oh my god! But they were just stock spark plugs, so they have like a really small tip. <laughs> not, not good for nitrogen. It must be running great now. <laughs> She's burning right. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Clean, dude. To the uh, to the track. We got some ice and then we'll be on the track. That's the closest I've ever been to a rollover. Brent and I are just driving down this road. 
truck literally flips. We hit the brakes, pull over. Dude's okay though. That is nuts, dude. Whoa. That was scary. Man. Holy crap. There we are. Carney Raceway. Let's do it. I think this is the hottest day I've ever raced in on race week. Probably ever in my life. It's really hot. They said it's setting records. <laughs> hey, I love setting records. You know the deal. Once that sun goes down, though, it'll be a lot better. It's going to be awesome. Gapping some plugs, and they're drilling some holes. We're going over our tune-up, and we're pretty much leaving it the same, right? Yeah. Just going to kind of make sure. We're just going to watch the fuse gauge, yeah. and once it's seven pounds, you let it go. Yep. This is what I was talking about, is getting this RPM going. And see how smooth the boost line was? See how smooth that is? It's not a whop. It's just a nice, smooth gain. And that's what got us around a seven. Did have a little flare on our one-two shift, so I want to check the transmission fluid, make sure it's full. And it's just a nice, smooth, everything's smooth on this deal, and that's why we were able to go down the track. So you, you want to hear something interesting? So remember when we were in Pueblo and we got to go the first eighth mile and then it broke up? We pulled almost 1.9 Gs that night. In Vandermeer, it was only 1.6. So I mean, we, we were going slow in Vandermeer when we went to 782. All right, guys, one more thing I'm gonna show you. That blue line there, that's now the rear shock sensor. So you can see the rear end is extending like it's supposed to for this four link stuff. That's the first time I've seen it work uh, that much. So, eh, we're on to something maybe. What's the plan here? Faster and forward. Again, if you're sort of up front, be ready All to go. Right. Have your helmet on, they'll just start How pulling you nitrous? out. We need to clear those lanes out. How big's your shot? Still a hundred and a quarter. I saw it almost went 100. I was wondering why the ET was down. So it spun right off the hit or what? Oh, it spun. Well, it did the bog hiccup thing and I got back on it and it was good at the 60. It went 240, which is six numbers faster than the 60. <laughs> and then I got back on the kit and it just spun like crazy. Maybe you guys should try and get both tires hot instead of just the one. Right Who'd have thought the blaze would be burning the tires down the strip at the yeah, end of this she trip? Was ripping. Alrighty, sun's gone down. Track's looking better. It was so hot. Scorched. And uh, Brent and I got everything dialed. We even changed the oil. And uh, it's go time. Man, you pull out real quick. Yeah. Man, just so the parachute doesn't. <laughs>
50. I just wanted to at least do something because I don't think we're gonna get to run again. Thank you, my butt. We pulled uh, 250 RPM out of it. That was six pounds of boost, exactly what we left with in Denver. It just did not take it, dude. Oh wow, it went to 888. Oh, that's way better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. You got eight minutes to get him back in the lanes. 976 on the left, 1004 on the right. Yeah. Yeah, we. David cool moves back the CTSB in the right lane. Yeah, so we just need to bring a jack over there then, in our ice. Let's ice here. We got eight minutes. Let's ice. We'll be good. Take a breather. Yep. We're all right. The motorcycle in the right lane or the left lane. Thanks. All right, guys. We got a staging lane fiasco going on. They were closing the staging lanes, so we rushed back. We borrowed this jack from a guy. Oh, it's just gently touching the body. Well, don't worry about that. And we have the trans fan, AKA our little Milwaukee pulling down the trans because it was 200. Packed the chutes in the lanes. Turned down the uh, boost and RPM even more. We're just trying to get this thing to freaking make a pass. I mean, the 8.8 keeps us in first place, but Brent and I's goal was to run a seven second race week. And if we can run a seven tonight, that'll put our average uh, in the sevens. It's really what I want, but I don't know if it's what I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I heard the water box you know, might have got left open. Super fresh. Is that why you said race week tradition? Yeah. If you're missing keys, then you Dude, that's so sketch. Yeah, hey. I know. He came back. We hurried. It was like, put ice in here. Hurry, get the lanes. So I know. Ice in and then it's all good because we're good. It's all good because we're good. Yeah. I don't. Good, I didn't feel. I didn't feel any. I think it was behind the tires. I, I'm sure it was coming out the back of the bed. Cause I didn't feel any sketchiness at all, so I don't even worry about that. I know, I know. We got it, dude. There's just so many distractions with the people, and like, we just, you know, what we might need to do is a checklist. And we ran three passes in an hour. Yeah. We might need to get a checklist going. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll go reluctantly turn in our hopefully our slowest pass of the week. It's all good. At least the car is good. Yeah. So let's we'll get redeem it. Ourselves. All right, I'll be right back. Right about here is when it spun. So the car made it 0.4 seconds into the run before it would spin. That is so weird. I haven't done that yet. It's like before it was making it 200 feet when we were in Indy. And then it was making it 60 feet in Denver and we fixed that. And now it's only making it like 10 feet. So I don't know what the hell we've done. <laughs> the hell, Brent? What is going on? We're learning. Point, it's like we made it 200 feet and then we fixed that. Yep. And we were making it 60 feet and then we fixed that. Now we're making it 10 feet. We, yeah. 
We just didn't have enough time to fix that. We didn't have enough time to fix that. <laughs> and we were rushing. We're getting there, dude. The track was so, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because I left on only four and a half pounds, and then it was only at nine when it spun. I'm like, what the hell? <sighs> no, I don't think it was the track's fault either. I think it was our fault. I am brave enough to say it was our fault. <laughs> Frustrating. See you later, laptop. All right, 250 miles tomorrow. Guys, I think we have more of a street car than a race car at this point. Because it knocks out the miles, but it struggles at the track a little bit. We got a pretty old turd here. <laughs> well, we definitely are a little frustrated. It's like, yeah, we get it, then we don't get it. Then we yeah. get it, then we don't get it, so. We're learning, though. Yeah, we're learning. That's the, that's the good news, so. We definitely feel, like, bummed, but... The end of the freaking day, we are driving a race car across the country and doing our best and trying to show you guys a good time. So, got to remember that. And, like, the car's only got, you know, 15, 20 passes on it. So, it's not like Ruby. That's hundreds of passes. So, oh, I just we can't get down on ourselves. We'll figure yeah, it out, we'll dude. Figure it out. Uh, we'll check out the standings and let you know in the morning, guys, or in tomorrow's video where we're at. But, we heard our average today, and I think the other guy improves his average today. I don't know where it puts us, but we should hang on to our lead. But find out tomorrow what Mullet ends up doing. Tomorrow's the last day, so we're heading to Great Bend, Kansas again. Yep. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for the We'll freaking see you later.